Hello and welcome back to Curse of the Dead Gods. Let's see, what do we have here? Blonde claws and wound shield. Yes. Because claws are nice and fast weapon. And today, let us try the Bewitched Catacombs. Let's see for the events. Dark souls know when to embrace darkness. Flee the light as it makes you more vulnerable than ever. Find refuge in the shadows by taming fire with your dark powers. Mm -hmm. Receive annihilation blow of madness. Corruption has left the temple to invade it, this bow. Each shot will consume you. Make good use of your flawless agility. No other weapon will help you. Or escape from the worst nightmare. Fear permanent hallucinations and infested hosts. You lose all sense of direction. Let's try this. Oh, but it actually means we are going for the first temple. I think. Okay, yes, the fiery holes. That's so cool. Okay, all sense of direction also means that I don't see enemies' health. All sense of direction. Luckily, we can still use our torch. But, but as I can see, every enemy turns into bats once they are defeated, so... Come here. I really enjoy this filter. It, as weird as it sounds, it makes the game more readable for me than having all the colors. using secondary weapon. Either way. I mean, I'm not using a shield. I will be using secondary weapon. You're from Death Spells. Death Spells. Death Cells. Oh, goddammit. Don't get hit yet, thank you. I'm sure it will turn out just fine. Try killing him first, okay. What do we have here? Face, face of Xabella. Nope. Consume to restore fifty percent of max health when taking a fatal blow. It doesn't curse us further. Plus fifteen percent 
damage to poison attack, okay, and 20% base damage from maze. Mm. Okay. And there will be no more treasures here, no. Okay. And No! Uh, I think we will die in a second. My position was horrible there. Uh, gold offering some of five corruption. I have no idea how much gold we have. I should be keeping track of that. Good job. Maybe you should take out your torch. <laughs> More enemies. Okay, but I see only enemies that can hurt us from the close range. Remember about this attack. That's blood offering. Oh, I don't. Want. Um. Well, we can take both, and I surely will with gold because that also cures a little bit of our curse corruption. Uh. Blinding greed. The glint of gold is the only light that truly suits when darkness and ambition join forces. Gold on the ground disappears after a short time. The amount of gold on the ground increases. Whoa, whoa! No, 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 run away. Nothing, okay. Wait a second, one. Trapped and trapped. Okay. Sure, I hit all of you. Another stone lash. I can upgrade it as I understand. No. God damn it. Thank you. What do we have here? 
relics. Fifteen damage of fire attacks or increased increased weakness weakened effect duration. I don't think we're using either of those. That would be amazing. Okay, nothing. Where did you guys come from? Yeah, they are afraid of light. sure we are one step from death whoa Some critical damage, sure. away the light you don't have to run away from me I saw it don't worry I don't see any critical hits, unfortunately. Oops. Simply didn't trust it. Um, plus thirty percent damage while in the darkness. Well, we are fighting more in the darkness, so why not? Thank you. I think we are fighting mostly in the dark, in the darkness. Okay, we are already at the. Blood Hunter.
Yep. Okay, I do need to kill them. We did it! Thank you. Yes, dark mark. Whatever that is. Scorch field revolver. Let's offer this to gods. Taking damage from an enemy deals 30% of taking damage to enemies around. Yes. And we can continue. The sun's galleries. Enemies and traps have gotten stronger. Okay. And our torch is now extinguished. I have no idea how much health we can have. I have no idea how far with corruption we've gone. Guardian's Codex, plus 20% base damage for shields. No. Run. I saw it. Weighted blades, throwing... No. I would rather heal what I've just lost. Thank you. Fifteen percent damage against weakened enemies. Okay, so each grid kill removes one corruption. I like that. And passing through a door inflicts fifty percent less corruption. Let's give you this. Let's take this. Okay, so we have set amount of relics we can carry. That makes sense. I don't know if we can heal below the corruption we already have. Like, because each corruption after it reaches a certain level, 
it gives you a mark. Can we heal below a mark that we already received? Keep on hitting! I don't know if he is not healing them. Maybe. Ah, it's not the end, okay. God damn it. Then, oh, we're dead, okay. Okay, we've made it through 42% of the second temple, I think. However, it's counted. Uh, we made one perfect room. Yes. Great. <laughs> but that is where I'm gonna end this part. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.